Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make some delicious mole tamales. In case you guys want to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, we're going to begin by prepping our chicken for our mole. In a large pot, we're going to set it on medium high heat. We're going to fill it up halfway with water. And to our pot, we're going to add four bay leaves, a half of a white onion, and five garlic cloves, along with some salt. And now we're just going to bring it to a boil. Once the water comes to a boil, we're going to add four pounds of chicken breast with rib. And we're going to allow it to boil again. And once it comes to a boil again, we're going to remove any scum form on top of our pot. And now we're going to reduce the heat to medium low. We're going to cover it and allow it to cook for about 30 minutes. Okay, so after 30 minutes, our chicken is done. So we're going to turn it off. And we're going to remove our chicken from the broth. We're just going to allow our chicken to cool down so that it's easier for us, for us to shred it. And as for the broth, we're going to reserve seven cups, which we're going to be using for the mole sauce. Okay, so I'm going to strain my broth. Okay, so that's going to be used for the sauce, and the rest we're going to use it for our tamales masa. Okay, to make our sauce, we're going to grab our small frying pan. We're going to set it on low heat and allow it to heat up. Once our pan is hot, we're going to grab our spices, and that's our cinnamon stick, two bay leaves, cloves, allspice, oregano, thyme, black pepper, and whole cumin. And we're just going to toast them for a couple seconds. And just make sure that you're moving them around so like that they don't burn. Okay, so once you begin to smell the spices, they're done. So now we're just going to transfer it to our broth. To our same pan, we're going to add oil. We're going to begin to fry a guajillo or New Mexico chili pots. I'm going to be using New Mexico chili pots just because I don't want my mole to be too sweet. Okay, so just give it a couple seconds and then flip them over. Okay, and after a couple seconds, they're ready. So we're going to transfer them to the broth and repeat the process to the rest chili pots. Next, we're going to fry two ancho chili pots, and this is just for color, and as soon as they puff, they're ready, so make sure that you do it fast so like that your sauce is not bitter. Okay, so next we're going to fry half of a plantain, and just make sure that it is a little ripe. And just fry it for like about a minute, or just until it gets nice and soft. Okay, and once it's ready, transfer it to the broth. Okay, next we have four garlic cloves and half of a white onion. We're just going to fry until they're nice and soft. Okay, the garlic cloves are going to be the ones first to be finished, so remove them. Transfer to the broth and just wait for the onion. Once the onion is done, we're going to remove it from the oil. Okay, so now we're going to grab our tomatillo and Roma tomato and fry it until it's nice and soft as well. While we wait for our tomatoes, we're going to add our chocolate to the broth, just so like that it gives it enough time to dissolve. Okay, so we can get our tomatoes out. And now we're going to add our peanuts, almonds, pumpkin seeds, and sesame seeds, and we're going to light, lightly fry them. Okay, so after the minute, our seeds are done. So now we're just going to transfer it to our blender cup. Just so like that, we don't lose any of our seeds in the process of transferring them. And lastly, we're going to fry our saladine crackers. So we're going to add a little more oil and just give it a couple seconds and allow it to heat up. Okay, and once oil is nice and hot, we're going to fry our saladine crackers just until they're nice and golden. And once they're ready, transfer them to the broth. Okay, so once we have all of our ingredients ready for our mole sauce, now we are ready to blend. Okay, so I'm just going to transfer all of the ingredients to my blender cup. And of course, you can do this in batches. So just make sure that you get everything. Okay, so now we can get ready to blend. Okay, so now we're just going to blend till we have a smooth sauce. Okay, so once we have our sauce, now we are ready to shred our chicken. Okay, so we're just going to shred our chicken. Okay, so once we have our chicken ready, now we are ready to put our mole together. Okay, so we're going to grab our pan, set it on medium-low heat, and allow it to heat up. 
And once it heats up, we're going to add our sauce. We're just going to be mixing it for about 10 minutes. Okay guys, and after 10 minutes, we're going to add our brown sugar. And just continue mixing and allow that sugar to dissolve. Okay, we're going to give it another five minutes. Okay, so after five minutes, our sauce should begin to simmer. So at this point, you wanna see if you wanna add any more salt or brown sugar to make it more sweet. For me, it's perfect. So now we're ready to add our chicken. Grab a bigger pot. But we're gonna make it work. Okay, so once it begins to simmer, we're going to turn it off and set it to the side, and meanwhile, we can get our masa for tamales ready. Okay, to make our masa, I'm going to be using my stand mixer. So I'm going to add my lard, and I'm using pork lard, but you can use regular lard. And we're going to beat for five minutes on medium speed. Okay, so after five minutes, we're going to add our instant corn masa for tamales, along with our baking powder. And we're just going to continue mixing on medium speed. And slowly, we're going to add our chicken broth. Okay, so alternate between the masa and the chicken broth. just until you add everything. Okay, so once we have added all six of cups of maseca and broth, now we're just going to turn it up to the highest speed. And I'm just going to cover mine because it is going to be getting messy. So turn it up and allow it to beat for 15 minutes. Okay guys, so once we have our masa, we're going to allow it to rest for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, we can get our banana leaves ready. Okay, so to make our tamales, we're going to be using banana leaves. I already cleaned them and cut them into smaller pieces, and now we're just going to pass them through the fire. And of course, and if you can't find the banana leaves, you can always use corn husk, just make sure that you soak them. Okay, so I'm just going to set the fire on medium heat, and of course, you can use a comal as well. And you're going to see the leaf change colors, so that's what you want. So get it all over. And this is just going to make the leaf to be flexible. So repeat the process to all of your leaves. Okay, so once we have our banana leaves ready, now we are ready to make our tamales. Okay, so at the same time, we're also going to get our steamer pot ready. I fill it up with water and add a little bit of salt. And I'm just going to set it on medium high heat. Okay, so to make our tamales, we're going to get our banana leaf. And I'm going to add about half a cup of masa. And just spread it in the center. Okay, now we're going to grab our mole. Place it on top of the masa. And you add as much as you want. And now we're going to grab the end and cover that the man. And then fold it. And like that. Okay, just like that. And we're going to repeat the same process to the rest of our banana leaves. Okay guys, so once we have our tamales all nice and wrapped, now we are ready to place them on our steamer pot. So just place them and just fix them however they fit. Just make sure that you put them all in. Okay, so once we have our steamer pot filled with our tamales, we're just going to add the extra banana leaves. And we're going to cover the top. Just make sure that they're nice and tight. Okay, I'm going to use a towel and cover them along with the lid. Okay, so now we're going to allow them to steam for about 45 minutes to an hour. Alrighty guys, so it's been an hour. So at this point, we're going to check our tamales. Just be very careful. Let me tell you, that smells delicious. So just check them, oh yeah. And you're gonna know that they're done once you see the masa. Well, let me pull it out. So you're gonna see the masa cooked like that. And at this point, they're still very soft. So just allow them to sit for about 10 minutes before serving. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, serving. And of course you can add or serve it however you want, but for me this is honestly just perfect. I am so ready, I love tamales, and mole is just the best combination. So just like that, now we are ready to enjoy our delicious mole tamales. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now I am so ready, I love tamales, I love mole, 
And like I mentioned, I like my mole to be a little bit on the spicier side, um, but you can always adjust that to your liking. Uh, if you don't want it to be spicy, just use uh, chile guajillos, but I am ready. This recipe is seriously super easy to make. It's time consuming, but you know, just like tamales, but it's so worth it. I am ready. So I hope you give it a try. Cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So good. The masa is perfect. It's sweet, but yeah, it's a little spicy too. You know, just mole. It's so good. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious mole tamales. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you create this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.